Christian Meditation Restoring the Lost Art of Christian Meditation to the Modern Church My name is Susan Metoxen of White Buffalo Solutions. If you listen to this presentation, this is what you'll learn. First, you'll differentiate between prayer and Christian meditation. You will also understand how the Beatles influenced the practice of meditation, understand what the Bible says about meditation, understand the health benefits of meditation, and last but not at all least, we'll learn some Christian meditation techniques. So you may be saying to yourself, I already have daily devotions. Why should I meditate? How is meditation different than prayer? Christian meditation and prayer are distinct from each other. They are not the same. However, they are similar as well. The intersection of the two could be called contemplative prayer. A person practicing contemplative prayer is meditating during their prayer time. Let's look at the dictionary definitions of meditation and prayer. First, meditation. To train, calm, or empty the mind, often by achieving an altered state, as by focusing on a single object, as in Buddhism or Hinduism, note the reference, to engage in devotional contemplation, especially prayer, to think or reflect, especially in a calm and deliberate manner. Now, what is prayer? Prayer is the act of making a reverent petition to God, a God, or another object of worship. Note the word petition. And prayer is also an act of communion with God, a God, or another object of worship, such as in devotion, confession, praise, or thanksgiving. So let's summarize. What is Christian meditation? Christian meditation is contemplation. It's reflecting. It's focusing. It's worshiping. And it's communion. But the key is that it's always focused on God and his word. What isn't Christian meditation? I would say that petitioning God would be prayer, but not Christian meditation. When you're reciting words without meaning, that would not be Christian meditation. It may be meditation, but it would not be Christian meditation. Emptying the mind is strongly associated with Eastern religions, but is not part of Christian meditation. Okay, what do the Beatles have to do with Christian meditation? In 1968, the Beatles traveled to India to attend a Transcendental Meditation Seminar hosted by the founder of TM. As you can imagine, this increased the popularity of TM in the U.S., at the same time, for many Christians, the association of meditation with TM led to a fear of meditation as a practice of Hindu or Buddhist faith. However, meditation is in the Bible. The word meditate is mentioned 19 times in the Psalms. My favorite example of meditation in the Bible is the story of when Isaac first met his wife, Rebecca. The, the day he met Rebecca, he went out to the field one evening to meditate, and while during his meditation, she magically appeared before him. Of course, there's numerous examples of prophets spending time focused on the Lord and living for extended periods in isolation. And last but not least, Jesus demonstrated a life of contemplation. Think about his time in the wilderness for 40 days and nights and his night in the Garden of Gethsemane. In addition to spiritual benefits, there are also health benefits of meditation. Respected health professionals accept and encourage meditation. There are articles on meditation on the websites of Mayo Clinic, WebMD, and Psychology Today. And if you'd like to see these, you can see the sources at the end of this presentation. Meditation is recommended for stress reduction, for emotional well-being, and for reducing negative emotions. I found this very interesting quote on the Mayo Clinic website. Some research suggests that meditation may help such conditions as allergies, anxiety disorders, asthma, binge eating, cancer, depression, fatigue, heart disease, 
high blood pressure, pain, sleep problems, and substance abuse. Now, it's important to note that Mayo Clinic is saying that some research suggests, they're not saying that they've proven that there's health benefits of meditation, but I think it's significant that Mayo Clinic is stating something like this on their website. Okay, let's summarize. Why should we practice meditation? There are spiritual benefits. It can deepen our faith and strengthen our prayers. And there are health benefits. It has health benefits that we don't want to pass up. So are we ready to try it out? Okay, let's talk about how to meditate. Meditation includes slow, deep breathing. Set a pattern. First, inhale through your nose and count one, two, three, four, and then exhale through your mouth. Five, six, seven, eight. To start your meditation, I would do that a number of times, maybe five or six times, just to set the pattern and set the pace for your meditation. When you meditate, meditate in a comfortable position. If you're sitting, sit up straight. You may want to hold your palms up. Start with short meditations. And then meditate on scripture. Meditation on scripture is a safe harbor. I want to show you a simple meditation that you can try at home. It's called the Word Focus Meditation. Choose your favorite phrase from the Bible. It should be a short phrase. Start by breathing deeply. Always start with the, with by breathing deeply. I recommend counting as you do that. Focus on each word. You know, for example, this is how you do it. You start out first saying to yourself, the Lord is my shepherd. And note the emphasis on the word, the Lord. While you're doing that first line, you're focused on the word Lord and what the word Lord means. And then you move on and you say, the Lord is my shepherd, and the second time through, you're focused on the word is. And then you move on. The Lord is my shepherd. He really is my shepherd. And last but not least, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. What does it mean that the Lord is my shepherd? You may spend, you know, you may do it as fast as I just did it, or you may spend one minute on each line, or you can spend five minutes on each line, whatever you want to do, whatever pace you want to set for yourself. But you can see that by focusing on each word separately, it brings so much more meaning to the verse. I want to share another meditation with you. This is a meditation that has been created by White Buffalo Solutions. This one's our peace meditation. We have 10 choices on our website. Here's how you do the peace meditation. Um, for the first minute, as we talked about before, um, start setting this pattern of slow, deep breathing. So while you inhale slowly and deeply through your nose, repeat one, two, three, four. And then you exhale slowly and completely through your mouth and you say five, six, seven, eight. If you repeat that six to eight times, it'll be about a minute and that's the first minute of your meditation. And then you go on and while you're inhaling, continue that slow pattern of breathing, you say to yourself, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, and then exhale and say to yourself, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And repeat that six to eight times for your second minute. And the third minute, you say to yourself, while you inhale, I have learned the secret of being content. Then exhale in any and every situation. Repeat six to eight times. And verse four, say shalom. And exhale, my peace I give to you. And then the fifth minute, say a brief prayer in your own words to thank God for this time of meditation. That gives you two ideas for meditation. Now, here's the times that you can meditate. Um, you can meditate before a performance evaluation. Um, you could meditate after a challenging situation with a customer. 
You could try quick meditation before a challenge, like before a performance or before taking a test. Anytime that you identify that your body is in a stress response, you feel anxious, worried, hopeless, your heart is beating fast, anytime you have any of those feelings, those are good times to meditate. I'd like to leave you with some next steps in case you'd like to learn more. First of all, you can come to WhiteBuffaloSolutions.com. We have a lot of materials online, and we have apps on the App Store and on the Android market. You can also go to our website, ChristianMeditationResources.com, for more ideas. Another thing to try might be an audio meditation. These are available at Amazon. If you go to our website, we'll give you some ideas. You could check out the World Community of Christian Meditation at WCCM.org. And probably the best thing you could do is to read the book, The Celebration of Discipline by Richard Foster. Much of the material in this presentation is from that book. Chapter 2 is on meditation. May God bless you in your meditation journey. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Let me leave you with some the sources I used for this presentation today. Thank you.